God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord, we come before you on this holy Sabbath day. Lord, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Someone somewhere did not see the light of day. And Lord, we want to thank you for the new mercies that you have given us this day. We want to thank you for all the mercies you've given us through the week, for how you kept our families, and how you allowed us one more time in your holy sanctuary. And Lord, we come before you and we're asking you, Lord, to please, Lord, visit us this day. Lord, we pray that you may come and you may destroy the yokes. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you may touch the hearts of those that need your spirit, those that need your Holy Ghost. We ask you, Lord, to touch their minds. Lord, Stir them up. Yes, Lord, don't let them be comfortable. Lord, but let them get busy to seek your spirit. Yes, Lord, let their minds come in saying, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need your Holy Ghost. I need you to lead me and to guide me. Lord, I ask you that even those of us who have your spirit, Lord, we pray that you may touch our minds as well. You said that power shall come after the Holy Ghost has come. Lord, we ask you that you may stir us up, that we may use that power. Lord, that we may come against the adversary that comes against us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to be with us. We need you, Lord. We need you. Lord, we need you, Lord. Look at it today, Lord. We need you. Hallelujah. We want to bless you. We want to worship you. Not just a dance, not just a song, but Lord, truly worship you. Lord, we ask you that you may just be present and we welcome you. In Jesus' name, let our ears be ready to hear your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen. We honor the Lord for our Apostle Raglan. We thank God for his, his wife and her absence. We honor the Lord for our Bishop Carter and his family being with us today. Amen. Amen. And we've changed the order of Jimmy Church just a bit because we're going to be blessed this morning and privileged and honored to hear a word from God through our Bishop Carter this morning in the church. And we want you to sit attentively, we want you to listen, and we want you to hear what God has to say unto us this morning. Because as we said on last week, without Jesus you're nothing, and without him you're going to fail. And success is measured upon your relationship with God. That's where your success is, is your relationship with God. And how do we get to know him other than to learn him? Amen. So we're going to ask you, if you will, to sit quietly and listen. But if the Spirit of God comes by and you want to say amen, you're free to say amen. 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 And at this time, we're going to bring forth our Bishop Jerry Carter. Receive him with a hearty amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I know we're coming to give him a little praise today. Mm -hmm. Been good to us, Amen. dressing well. We have money in our pocket, but yeah. God is worthy of the Yes, He is.
respond and you will quickly go with us to some scriptures and we hope as the Bishop Michael Carter says, I can be quick, fast, and in a hurry. And if I don't, pray for me. Our speaker on the last evening shared with us a text from Psalms, the 91st Division, telling us about God's protection. And in listening to that message, we listened to the subject that was given and the question that was posed before us. And she asked us, how do you get or how do you dwell under the shadow of the Almighty? Everybody saying they're saved. All right now. And they're on their way to heaven. All right now. But everybody worshiping God is not saved. Yeah. Amen. And everybody going to church is not going to heaven. Can I get an amen, amen. somewhere? Amen. Ooh, my glory. I, I just want to tell you it's just a trick. All right. All right. Look, look over at somebody and say it's just a trick. Yes. Uh, the church world is facing the most serious spiritual calamity of all time. Because the apostle said to us in Ephesians 6 chapter, he said, put on the whole armor of God that you might withstand the wiles of the devil. For we're dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. It's in the White House in your house. Spiritual weakness everywhere. And and we might as well face the fact there is a war going on. Revelation chapter 12 says it more like this. There was war in heaven. And Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. And the dragon and his angels angels prevailed not. And they were cast out of heaven. And Jesus picked it up through Luke and said, I can help Satan has got me. See, when God gets rid of you, he do it very quick. It's just a trick. Amen. Go with me to Nehemiah chapter number six. Nehemiah had been commissioned to go back to Jerusalem and restore the walls. Yes. Nebuchadnezzar came in in 606 B.C. and according to Daniel chapter 1, he besieged the city of Jerusalem and he took them captive and, and they destroyed Jerusalem. I, one thing, Apostle Raymond, that surprises me so much is I don't know any other national uh, capital as Jerusalem that has been destroyed so many times. And, and then one of the things about it, Jerusalem was the city of our God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I have to ask a question, why did God allow Jerusalem to be destroyed so many times the Assyrians and, and the Babylonians and then the Persians and, and then the Greeks and then the Romans? They, all of these world powers made it their business to come to Jerusalem and destroy the city of Jerusalem. But I found out in what the trouble was is that Jerusalem became rebellious and God's people were tricked. Saying, come, let us meet together in some 
one of the villages in the plains of, I love that word, oh no. I preached a sermon one time, oh no, I'm not coming to the valley of oh no. It's just a trick. Y'all better pray with me a little time. But they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? There's a quick little lesson you learn in that text. The leader of God must stay on the post. Amen. Because as soon as leadership change, folk get weary. Amen. Oh, I wish I could preach. I really Amen. wish I could preach today. You let leaders, you let Mr. Reagan go somewhere for about four weeks and have a vacation.
and Gimli and the skulls and bullocks. But y'all believe in all them laws. You read Hebrews, we tell you which one we believe in. Come on, y'all want to know who they are? You don't have to do a long research. Hallelujah. It's already written for us. Come on, I want to search our religion out. Just read Hebrews. Oh, I know some of y'all ain't heard that one. Yeah. 
he, he got down in the flesh. He took off his royal diadem. Yeah. He laid the mantle aside and took Shekinah glory, stepped off the plateau, and the angels went to his shop. They said, what is he doing? And somebody cried out to God, said, what is man that thou mindful of? Why are you getting up off your throne like that? You know Adam was a sinner. You know the children of a sinner. You know the grandchildren of a sinner. You know, you know all of them down there are sinners. But God so loved the world. Yeah.
you know, that, that, that this uh, intelligent nothing that did everything. <laughs> just, just, just something blew up and it came to order. And I thought about that. Now, logically, lady, that don't make sense. Because I'd like to go blow your house up and see if it turns out to be the Taj Mahal. I, I'd like to go. Somebody would like to go over and, and catch that fellow over in Afghanistan or Pakistan or wherever he might be and blow one of his houses up and see if it just lay out in order. They want me to believe foolishness. I'd rather believe God.
Bible now. Verse 6. Don't let the mega churches be our pattern. Right. Let us be the pattern for the mega That's church. Right. They may have to find us, but when they find us, let us be their pattern. Yes. Right. Oh, come on, y'all talking. Amen. Ain't no need to be in some of your shame, though. Amen. And I ain't no need to be in some of your shame, though. Amen. Let me tell you what, 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 and we're trying to separate worship and praise. You can't separate us. Jesus. No. Jesus. Now, we be praising the Lord, but we need to know how to worship. How can you not? Praise God and not be worshiped. I mean, if you're doing it right. Right. Hey, come on, let's get y'all to talk to me. Right. Let me. Let me drop it on down philosophical so you don't get lost. Yeah. Praise is what you do. Worship is your frame of mind. All right. Amen. 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 I got to come out the pulpit. Y'all better get the camera. Yeah. 
I want to close with this. We need to let the Holy Ghost take over. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm not saying I love formal services, but God is good at breaking up formality. Amen. Amen. And when we know he's coming in the devotional service, stop testifying and let folk pray. Amen. God, I'm a son. What had the church so empowered? We look around and say, where is the, the folks not getting healed like they should and all that? Because we've got to let the Holy Ghost have its way. Glory to God. Now let me tell you another thing right quick. We can't let the Holy Ghost have its way when 75% of the church don't have the Holy Ghost. We need to bring tarot service back in the church. Come on, come on, come on.
Spirit of God said, rebuke your debt. God said, rebuke it. See, 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 see. Ezekiel 45 says that the east gate is open on the Sabbath. It said it's closed all the other days. See, that's the things you get on Sabbath day that you can't get the other day. You might want to go to your wife. You might want to go to your children and say, God said, rebuke our debt. I want to be debt free. I'm tired of car notes and house notes. My money in the bank is gone, and I lost my job. And the devil is telling me, you paid your tithes, but where's your job? Tell the devil, God's going to reverse that thing on me today. I'm going to be debt-free. God's going to put me on top of my money. 
God wants to do something beautiful in your life. I said, God wants to do something beautiful in your life. Hallelujah. You think you're beautiful. You do everything you could to make yourself beautiful. But the Lord is saying, I want to do something beautiful in your life. Praise the Lord. Are you listening? Amen. The Lord wants to do something beautiful in our lives. Praise the Lord. The man of God has preached. Leave a stone unturned. Take the message with you. Don't forget the preaching of the word. And find out when it worked for you. It will work for you. The work for you. The work for you. Praise the Lord. We got to get back. Amen. We got to get back. Too many things that's, that's already creeped into the church. Amen. 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 Because we have lost our identity, we are losing our power. Amen. Amen. God is not pleased. Yeah, we got to find a way of undoing what we've done. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yes, And take back our identity. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. And our life. Thank God for Bishop Carter today. Somebody would just help me say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We just want to start the service off with a uh, worship song. We want to sing, Worthy is the Lamb. And it sings.
Now, the what the problem is, it's just hallelujah in your house. Amen. Thank God for the song of praise and God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the people of God.
and we were going to go to Catholic Hospital. We're going over to the hospital. And I thank God that Sister Lisa and Sister Monica were there. Hallelujah. And we were all able to just be there and just be together on that Friday, just fellowship and studying the word. And hallelujah. We had, I talked to Sister Brenda last Sabbath before we left. And she told me about that seven times. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, I got the revelation. We're going to have prayer before we leave. Yeah. Hallelujah. And even if we had prayer, we had prayer.